season, y'all, you really got to hear the voice of God. It can't be no flesh. It can't be nobody else talking to you. It's got to be you and you only who can understand and know the voice of God. But if you ain't talking to him often, how you going to know what God's voice is? Oh, I'm done. I got to rush on. This text is so powerful. Verse 3, if we can go there, it was so powerful. Look at what it says. It says in verse 3, so Abraham rose up early in the morning, saddled his donkey, took the two men with him and his son Isaac. He got up early. Why? I believe there are several reasons why he got up early. I believe he got up early because, see, when you get a word from God to test you, if you don't act on it immediately, then doubt and disbelief will creep in. I believe that he got up early and only told the two young men and Isaac to come on, let's go with me. Because if you ain't careful, when you take time and let other people get in your ear or tell you what you can't do or tell you what you're not able to do, they will turn you against. You got to listen to God's voice and not the voice of a man. Somebody give God praise. Help me finish this up.